welcome again to the ACE channel, where we look at some of the ACE products that are on sale from us. Remember, we sell anything from a connector to a radio mast, and all brands from Intel to Zotec. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Hello all and welcome to today's product. I am excited. I'm really excited to see one of these devices, to actually have it in my hands, to have programmed one and having to see what this device offers. This is one of the Itera multi-mode devices. Now, this is actually a device that has a DMR radio built into a uh, Android device. So this is a UHF, in this case UHF, as you can see there at the bottom right, UHF 400 to 470 device um, with an Android based platform. Um, Okay, without any further ado, let's have a look and see what is inside the box. Um, okay, they supply a screen cover, which I do like. Uh, the little booklet, which looks very professional and very authentic. Um, battery, which I've already um, added the belt clip to it. The device itself, we have an antenna here. Um, and what we have is a decent drop-in charger a decent drop-in charger thank you Hytera for doing that we have a little adapter for the power supply okay and then we have the power supply itself now the funny thing is and I'm going to show you this it says on the box that this is a switch mode power supply as well as a strap Inside the box it was only the power supply, no strap. Not that I like the straps, but no strap supplied. The intention of this little thing is it simply slides in, and I think they supply it per region, so that you have the correct power supply. Okay, let's have a look at the device itself. It is a very sleek device. It is a very big device but very very sleek i like this device and um, what i can immediately see is it's very thin you can judge off the the size of my pinky how thin this is it has a accessory connector um, cover which is a multi-pin accessory connector similar to the pd6 and the x1 um, in this case it's got an orange ring around it and i think what i can remember is the orange ring indicates that it actually is a DMR device and not a Tetra device. It has a power button there, PDT button with two side buttons and of course on top it's got a SOS button, a rotary switcher and a female SMA connector which is slightly different to the other devices. But there you go, that we have and there is a speaker at the bottom uh, which allows the sound to be nice and crisp. Uh, ambient line sensor, 3 megapixel camera, a uh, 5 megapixel camera in front, and a 13 megapixel camera at the back with a flash. No holes in our bay. This is a very, very nice and sleek device. Okay, the battery, before I switch the device on, is a, the belt clip slides into the battery. Now, I have mentioned on numerous videos before, I don't like this design as, as it ages, the device can fall off um, the battery. But, if it gets mounted in underneath, there it secures it so that the belt clip cannot come out so this is one of the better designs for a belt clip being housed on the battery but i prefer it being on the radio itself that's just my own preference very thin battery you can see the thickness of the battery very 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 thin charging pins at the back it has no usb charging capability it may be good or bad and uh, depending on what side of the fence you stand on that issue um, latch on the battery itself which I think is good um, it makes it having to open up a very difficult 
an advanced device like this unnecessary so should you drop it and there is damage to the latch you only need to replace the battery not the whole device i like that that's a good thinking there okay i can see that this is a 2400 lithium ion battery um at 7.7 .7 volt yeah i have a problem with that this is a big device it has a big screen and i just wonder how long this device will last um how long will the device last with battery like that nevertheless let's carry on and see it comes with an antenna let's see if we can get a close-up of that 400 to 470 meg and at the end of the video we will put this on a uh, analyzer and see how well does this actually perform um, it's always interesting to see what a wideband antenna will do okay so let us switch it on it is a big device yes it is it is very large it is a large device you can see how it sits in my hand that it is very large of course it has a uh, um, emergency button on top the PDT button on the side here power button there and then up, uh, two side buttons you can program as well although I didn't get a strap I see there is a hole for a strap just mentioning it I don't like the strap idea okay let's see how quick it boots um, seems to be fairly quick off the mark coming on immediately after you press the button um, and it is fairly quick I know there you go once the logo is done it is just about ready to use this device is so quick um, it is very quick um, have a nice processor I'll put all the details um, in the description for you guys to to follow but this is a nice and quick device okay let's see what we have I've just for now put a security like that on it and there you go yeah you can see what we've done we have used um, you need special software for this um, you can use the play store to load Zello or walkie fleet in this case <coughs> or the native um, PDT that Hytera has um, but to configure the radio side you will most certainly need the cable now the cable is a simple cable like this it's the same as the uh, one that you use for the x1 as well as the um, pd6 series um, i will put the part number in the bottom although you only need a few one we made our own cable from an old accessory so you don't need to go out and buy your own cable you can make your own okay it is a nice device i wonder if it is, it will find our wireless network it seems that there is a yes it finds the wireless network which i have previously set up to make things easier let us just see um, on zello how does it perform one two three four five i think it's a bit far one two three four five testing one two three four five one two three four five testing one two three four five okay that was the zello application and um, if we go out of the zello application um, we can go into our walkie fleet applic application it logs in immediately and you can see there are some devices there um, testing one two three four five testing one two three four five okay it is a nice crisp display um, I have pre-programmed one of these buttons I can't remember which one I think it is this one for replaying the messages um, no records. There you go. I think it was that one. But as you can see, there are some records. It's probably just downloading it. Um, okay. 
that is the walkie fleet app on there uh, you can see all the subscribers and you can see the group that you are on and uh, i'm just going to to quit here and show you the radio part there is actually nothing to show on the radio except the fact that if you ptt it it is pitting on that radio group okay so there you can see that we have a ptt uh, dmr uh, connected to um, this device here uh, something of note that i must say is the fact that the ptt button i have not found in the software where to allocate the ptt button to um, walkie fleet or to Zello. Um, if you're using the radio and the radio is programmed it's probably um, yeah it, it, it's probably going to be the main function of the PDT button so nevertheless I like this device it is nice and big um, I do just wonder how it will perform with the battery um, it is a big display to drive the whole time and the battery is smaller than most devices that I've seen um, yet um, it is it is nice it is one device that will do everything um, something I must mention um, in order to configure the um, two-way radio you must have the cable or and MT MDM software you cannot configure um, the the two-way radio the dmr radio on here without having either the cable or the software i don't know um, how the new bluetooth software will look and how it will be able to program this device but at this point in time you are not able to do any other programming without um, without the actual cable I think that basically concludes it is it is it is a quick device um, it does seem like it is fairly fast there is no problem with the speed that it it flows nice and easily I'll put a description in later on for um, for everybody to see um, yes I just want to show you what it looks like in the hand it is a big device it is really a big device um, but nevertheless it is such a nice device Okay, now onto the next thing, which I just want to put at the end. Um, I don't want to make the video too long. Um, is our test on the antenna. So our test on the antenna, we have our little adapter kit, which we can adapt to a uh, BNC. Let's pull that out and get one of these adapters. Uh, and there you go. We'll put one of these on there. Okay, I just want to see where this antenna actually performs. Okay, we have it on there and we get our little device. We take our Nisei um, frequent uh, antenna analyzer and we use it again for this and yeah let us see go to scan I think it is set up for UHF we press scan again and let us see what does this antenna actually do it seems to have a general SWR of 2 yeah, 2 to 3 throughout the band okay so you're not the perfect antenna though it does seem to to peak well and around what will that be 1.7 and um, just under 130 meg yeah it is not the best antenna but it is a wideband antenna um, okay so that concludes our um, look at the PDC 550 device I really like this device 
um, it is it is good. Um, I almost forgot about the charger. What I do like about this device is the fact that it has a decent rapid charger. Um, it is supplied by 12 volt and as mentioned before um, you are able to make yourself a car charger. It has a nice firm push in, not very difficult to get it in there. It is a firm click and then of course our test that we always do with chargers will be the following once it is plugged in what happens let's just do that pull the cable out there and see what it does okay so once it's plugged in it has no indication it only flashes once tests the battery and then it puts it on charge but when the device is plugged in and nothing is happening like that it is just sitting there it flashes every once let's say every few seconds that is good that tells you there's enough AC coming in um, the transformer is actually working there is AC present or DC present in this case after the uh, um, the transformer part and that the charger is functioning I do like that um, it ticks all the boxes from a functionality point of view um, there are some people that will want one of these devices um, but for certain this is not a um, not a small device and it may not be for your um, everyday user um, this may not be for your everyday user as it is big bulky and heavy it is nice it is rated at IP68 um, so you can wear it in the rain, you can wear it um, in the snow, in the cold, anything. It has a nice crisp speaker. Thank you for watching another great review from ASCOMS. Please like, subscribe and share our videos. Also feel free to send a comment, request for a review or just a shout out. Stay safe. Till next time.